The content on 200 million websites will be personalized and generated by AI. Billions of customer service calls will be automated by AI. Generative AI will assist 25 million software developers and hundreds of millions of creators. The yield of the $250 billion annual drug discovery R&D will be turbocharged by generative AI. How influential is Jensen Huang? What if I told you that this global leader of a $3 trillion tech giant is quietly shaping the future of technology, and you might not even realize it. Jensen is the visionary global leader who co-founded NVIDIA in 1993. His chips are running self-driving cars, AI art, deep learning, and maybe even your next job interview. The journey, which originally began as a technology to improve graphics for video games, making them more lifelike, took an unexpected turn when AI researchers discovered that the GPU-driven supercomputers developed as part of this innovation process were perfect for deep learning. That, Jensen says, was the turning point in the story. That was a, a luck founded by Vision. The researchers that were uh, creating deep learning discovered this architecture to have been perfect for them. It was this supercomputing capability of NVIDIA that the top tech leaders like OpenAI, Microsoft, Google, and many others use today to develop the latest foundational large language models. Isn't it interesting? His insights into AI, its applications, and its future potential offer a compelling vision of how technology will shape our lives. But success didn't come instantly for Jensen or NVIDIA. In its early years, the company faced financial struggles and nearly failed multiple times. However, his determination to push the boundaries of computing help transform NVIDIA into a market leader. AI has been advancing at an incredible pace since. Started with perception AI. We now can understand images and words and sounds. To generative AI, we can generate images and text and sounds. And now, agentic AI. AIs that can perceive, reason, plan, and act. Everybody is racing to adopt the AI. The frontier models and all of the startups trying to build a next generation of frontier models, they're racing to get to the next level. I believe that you still want human in the loop because we have good judgment, because there are circumstances that the machines are not just not going to understand. As of March 2025, NVIDIA is amongst the top technology companies in the world with a revenue of $130.5 billion and accelerating its expansion in AI and cloud computing. At the era of accelerated AI development and metaverse, here is my compilation of Jensen's vision through the years. AI is no longer a futuristic concept. It is the defining technology of our time. The sheer scale of AI's computing ability is incredible. For example, NVIDIA's H100 GPUs are used in supercomputers that process massive data sets in real time. AI models like OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini rely on such computational power to generate complex language responses in seconds. It does quadrillions of calculations a second. It's just insane numbers. I think it's hard to grasp the scale of quadrillions of calculations, but in practical terms, it enables breakthroughs in areas like drug discovery and climate modeling. We're hoping that it does things that surprise us. That's the whole point. In some areas like drug discovery, designing better materials that are lighter, stronger, we need artificial intelligence to help us explore the universe in places that we could have never done ourselves. One of the most exciting things about AI is its ability to come up with solutions that we never even considered. I'm not interested in AI that just follows instructions. I want AI that can make discoveries. We have now learned the meaning of so many different types of data. We have learned to represent, how to represent information in so many different modalities. Not only have we learned the meaning of it, we can translate it to another modality. So one great example, of course, is translating English to Hindi. Translating English, large body of text, into other English, summarization, from pixels to image, image recognition, from words 
to pixels, image generation, from images, uh, videos, to words, captioning, from words to proteins used for drug discovery, from words to chemicals discovering new compounds, from amino acids to proteins understanding the structure of proteins. These fundamental ideas, essentially a universal translator of information from any modality to another modality, has led to a Cambrian explosion of the number of startups in the world. From solving complex mathematical equations to designing innovative materials, AI is already producing results that humans alone might never have reached. If we let AI evolve in ways we don't fully anticipate, we might just uncover some of the greatest breakthroughs of our time. We're in an incredible time with robotics. The critical technologies necessary to build general humanoid robotics is just around the corner. And one of the critical pieces of technology uh, is uh, an AI model that understands the world. At its core, when we speak about agentic AI, we refer to AI systems that possess a degree of autonomy, capable of perceiving their environment, making informed choices, and executing tasks without constant human supervision. Unlike traditional AI assistants, which rely on explicit commands, agentic AI operates proactively, collaborating with humans and other AI systems to drive outcomes efficiently. It is not just a technological evolution, it is a fundamental change in the way intelligence is embedded into our workflows, organizations, and economies. Well, the amount of computation that we need, of course, is incredible. Intelligence, of course, is the most valuable asset that we have, and it can be applied to solve a lot of very challenging problems. For the very first time, we have closed the gap the technology divide has been completely closed. And it's the reason why so many people can engage artificial intelligence. It is the reason why every single government, every single industrial conference, every single company is talking about artificial intelligence today. Because for the very first time, you can imagine everybody in your company being a technologist. And so this is a tremendous time for uh, all of you to realize that the technology divide has been closed. I resonate with Jensen. AI is the great equalizer, democratized access to knowledge, innovation, and business transformation. It is no longer just large corporations and developed nations that drive technological progress. AI is empowering startups, entrepreneurs, and individuals across the world. But the question remains, is AI going to take away our jobs? The workers work for companies. And so companies, when they become more productive, earnings increase. I've never seen one company that had earnings increase and not hire more people. It's true that AI will replace some jobs, but it will also create entirely new ones. Every major technological revolution has reshaped the job market, and AI is no different. Companies that adopt AI effectively will see higher productivity and growth which often leads to more job creation, not less. The key is ensuring that workers have the skills to transition into new roles. AI has no possibility of doing all of what we do. However, depending on the jobs that we do, sometimes it could do 20% of our jobs, 20% of our work, a thousand times better. For some people, it might be able to do 50% of their job, a thousand times better. But in no job can they do all of it. And so this is, the, this is the great observation. Because of that, every one of us should apply AI to automate, to become an assistant to help us with that either 20%, 40%, or 50%. People ask me, you know, Jensen, is AI gonna take your job? And I tell them, absolutely not. The person who uses AI to automate that 20% or 50% is gonna take your job. AI is powerful, but it's not a replacement for human intuition, ethics, or emotional intelligence. There are decisions that require human judgment decisions that AI simply cannot and should not make on its own. 
I firmly believe in a future where humans and AI work together, complementing each other's strengths rather than competing for control. You can't just randomly ask a bunch of questions. And, and so asking, asking AI to be an assistant to you requires, requires some expertise in, in artistry and how to prompt it. This makes perfect sense to me. Prompt engineering, knowing how to ask the right questions, is becoming a valuable skill. For instance, AI-generated artwork depends heavily on how well a user crafts the prompt. The better the instructions, the more accurate and useful the results. And I have a personal tutor with me all of the time. And, and so I, I think that that feeling should be universal. And, and I, if, if there's one thing that I would encourage everybody to do is to go get yourself an AI tutor right away. This is one of the most underrated benefits of AI. AI can be a personal mentor, guiding us through new skills at our own pace. Whether it's coding, writing, or problem solving, AI is making lifelong learning more accessible than ever before. I feel more empowered today, more confident to learn something today. The knowledge of almost any particular field, the barriers to that understanding it has been reduced. With AI, anyone can learn new skills at their own pace. I've seen people use AI to learn programming, understand finance, or even pick up a new language through interactive AI tutors. The accessibility of knowledge has never been greater. AI is moving at an unstoppable pace. Just in the past year, AI has made breakthroughs in protein folding, self-driving technology, and real-time video generation. The pace of AI research is unlike anything we've seen before. Predicting on the next phase of AI development at CES 2025, Jensen says, The AV revolution has arrived. 100 million cars built each year, a billion vehicles on the road all over the world, a trillion miles that are driven around the world each year. That's all going to be either highly autonomous or fully autonomous coming up. And so this is going to be a very, lar very large industry. I predict that this will likely be the first multi-trillion dollar robotics industry. I think this is the future of AI. Autonomous vehicles are a great example. They must understand physics to make real-time driving decisions. Similarly, AI-powered robots in factories need to understand spatial relationships to perform tasks efficiently. We think that the robotics era is just around the corner. NVIDIA Isaac Group, this is our platform to provide technology platform, technology elements to the robotics industry to accelerate the development of general robotics. Jensen Huang is not just a technologist. He is an architect of the AI-driven future. His work at NVIDIA has fundamentally reshaped how we understand computing, knowledge, and intelligence. The story of Jensen and NVIDIA clearly shows that the AI revolution is happening now and we must actively shape its direction. The companies, governments and individuals who embrace this transformation will define the next era of human progress. However, as Jensen emphasizes, AI is not the end of human ingenuity, it is the beginning of a new chapter in innovation, creativity and discovery. As Jensen has shown us, the possibilities are limitless. Check out my other videos on AI and technology. Find the links in the description below. Share your thoughts and feedback in the comments section.